What's going on guys? We are back with another video. It is me, we got Dax with. Dax is a smallmouth man, so we're gonna crush a whole bunch of smallmouth today. This is the April early season smallmouth bite, something that you've never been able to do in Wisconsin before, especially up here um, in the northern zone. I think just besides like border water, correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah. so early season catch and release smallmouth, and uh, it's mid-April right now. It is a terribly cold, we got some rain coming. One of these rough days that seems like April's been like this the whole way through, and uh, we're gonna be fishing some smallmouth, and we're gonna be fishing probably a lot of deep stuff and dragging bait slow. We're gonna have to fish slow today. As we're trickling out, the water temperature on the water is like 37, 38. Cold. <laughs> so that's almost like what we're doing when we ice fished the video a month and a half ago. Yeah. So, so yeah. you don't have to relatively go up shallow to find these fish. Mm -hmm. They're probably all still gonna be out deep, so. Especially gonna, a lot of your bigger ones. Probably. Yeah, all your bigger ones are not quite pre-spawn yet. They're still out in their wintering holes, so. Yep. We're going to have to fish super slow today, but hopefully we put together a few fish for you. Yeah, so and actually last time I was out here, I could only fish one spot on the whole lake because the whole lake was still iced over, and we have no ice on the lake anymore, which is a good thing. So we're going to be able to fish a whole bunch of this deep rock. Last week we were fishing cribs, um, so we'll walk you guys through the baits, what we're looking for on side imaging, and hopefully catch a whole bunch of bass. Stay tuned. up on a good one. Yeah, we probably want to film this one. <laughs> Not a bad way to start the day. It's 19 incher. Alright, well, first hook set of the day was a good one. Out here doing the early bass season. And uh, this like actually just lost like most of the ice. So the last video we filmed out here was, uh, watch out Sterling. Last video we filmed out here, the ice was still going off and the lake was halfway covered in ice, but now we can get around and fish everything and uh, get on some more of the big fish spots, some of those deep rock. That is absolutely the reward right there. You know, it's kind of a lot of slow, meticulous dragging this time of year, covering a lot of the stuff. It's that three and a half inch Kalen's tube and uh, working stuff real thoroughly, but if that's how the rest of the day goes, it'll be awesome. We'll let that guy go. Beautiful, smally to start. See you later, buddy. Up on a little fella. Crushed her though. Not too bad. Beauty. On the jig. Take him. Per usual, the wind picked up to 30 now and it's starting to rain. Chunker? Yeah. Beautiful little fish. Let him go. Finally got three on a spot. Not a bad one. April Smallies. I never thought I would see the day where you could come out here and do this. Yeah, it's kind of nice, minus the weather. Yeah. Butterball, huh? They are thick. They're eating good. Jeez. All right, so there's a couple of different presentations that we're using for these fish, and uh, it's really hard to get away from something that mimics some kind of crayfish. This is a three and a half inch Kalen's tube. Um, either this, Dax has been catching some on a jig today, uh, but some kind of basically crayfish imitation is uh, an absolute killer. Something, like I said, you can fish very slow, keep it on the bottom. Most of the time we're using like heads that are like half or three eighths, because we're fishing a lot of this 20 to 30 foot stuff. And the way we're fishing this, um, it's probably much different than you'd fish it when the water's real warm. Basically, we're getting it out there, 
obviously all the way down to bottom and it's just literally you're pretty much dragging and just barely bouncing that rod you want that tube to stay on the bottom pretty much the entire time and you want to be able to feel every single rock that you're going by and a lot of times you know if you're making a bomb cast and you can kind of tell you're not in the rock and you start hitting that bigger rock and that tube starts hanging up you know just start really slowing down and working it right there because that's a lot of times right when you're in that sweet spot and you can kind of tell that you know that's probably right where the fish are going to be so you know the other things that we can use this time of year too um, a jerk bait's going to be you know probably a couple weeks out once we see water temps getting into that mid upper 40 degree range um, the jerk bait will come into play a swim bait's another one you can fish really slow um, today we're fishing a lot of the tube and uh, it's kind of been the deal but like I said you're just barely moving that rod keeping it right on the bottom and uh, that's definitely been the deal and a lot of times we're making that same cast just over and over and over and over and over and maybe you know every third cast you get a bite making that same cast so it's a very slow very very methodical way to fish um, but it's what you got to do especially when the water is that cold now I'm fishing this on pretty much my favorite all-around Elliott rods I've had. This is the 6.9 medium. Um, I absolutely love this for power fishing everything. Walleyes out in Green Bay, all my walleye fishing I've done so far, whether that's finesse jigging, whether you're power jigging stuff, or fishing a tube for bass. The 6.9 medium is just a super versatile. If you could only really have one rod in your lineup, um, it would definitely be this one. And uh, right now, Elliott rods, you can use a coupon code. I'll list it right here to get 10% off. If you guys are interested in picking up an Elliott rod, um, I am absolutely addicted to them, obviously crazy quality. And the Syncork is their own material that is just, once you start fishing Syncork rods, it's incredibly addicting, super grippy. And uh, it's just kind of one of those things you gotta feel it to believe it. And uh, real wise, Pissy Fun Carbon X 2000, and uh, spooling that up with 10 pound braid and a 12 pound floral lead, and you're good to go. So that's kind of the deal, and uh, we're gonna get back after it. This one feels like a real one. You probably just hear the voice, not my face. <laughs> yeah, this one's definitely a better fish. Thank you. Oh yeah. Junker. That is what we are after. Much more quality bite there. Yeah. Take those on. Brown bomber there, boy. Holy mackerel. Hello. Putting What's on a up? clinic. On the right spot. Yeah. Or well, the right attitude fish, anyway. A lot of times you'll see these things just kind of hold in one little sweet spot back there. Well, you're definitely casting at it. Little guy there. Yeah. Yeah, when Tom lines the boat up on these waypoints he's got, it's nice to uh, look at the shore when you make your cast. And then just kind of try to duplicate the cast. Yeah. I got a marking on shore. So a lot of times it's kind of this one sweet spot you keep casting at, one line and so meticulous you just got to kind of keep making the same cast. Yeah. They're not moving far to hit these baits at all. Slow the water temper is what, 38, 39? Yeah. We got 38 degree water. Cold, cold, cold. We're actually sitting at 39 but we're casting to a little like 29 foot high spot back there. And that is pretty much all it is, over and over. All right, so real quick, we're gonna talk about what kind of spots we're fishing this time of year. You know, it's super cold out right now. Um, you know, obviously normally the season is not open up at all right now. Um, and you know, a lot of times that first, second week of May is kind of when you start seeing a lot of those fish come up to a lot of that shallow pre-spawn locations, like on the steep edge of a big shallow flat or something like that. This time of year, it's basically still wintering spots. And we're fishing a lot of this very deep, 
rock stuff. And the last video I posted doing smallmouth, we were fishing a lot of cribs, basically because that was the only spot we could get to. But 99% of this pattern is deep rock this time of year. Now, it's the same spot these fish go to late in October, post turnover. They kind of sit there all winter, and uh, once it starts getting warm in the spring, they'll start moving up onto structure. But we still have water temps that are like 37, 38, 39. These fish are definitely still deep. And it's a very slow and methodical bite this time of year. These fish aren't supercharged up biting everything, especially on a gloomy cold day like this. And we're, how we're finding this rock is mostly with side imaging. We're driving around a lot of this 20, 30 foot stuff. We're running that side imaging and we're looking for big chunk rock. Now, generally the bigger the rock, the better, or being able to see those sweet spots in the rock is kind of the deal. And basically you run that side imaging and you'll see something like this right here. And most of the time what you wanna do is you wanna drop a waypoint or a couple of waypoints kind of on that good rock, look at where they are in the GPS, come back and spot lock up wind, you know, 15, 20 feet and cast back to them and just really take your time work at that spot. So if you're not familiar with seeing rock on side imaging, you know, here's another image right here, something like this, throw some waypoints on that, spot lock up wind. But this is really what we're focusing on. And if you have a real big rock flat, that's just like a lot of gravel, you know, look for that sweet spot. Look for the spot where there's much bigger rocks where they're casting those big shadows. And most of the time, that's right where those smallmouth are gonna be sitting um, really all late fall, um, all winter, and then all spring as well until the water starts warming up. So we're gonna keep casting, hopefully catch a bunch more bass. Hooked up. Crazy cold, crazy windy. Look at that though. Nice smallmouth bass. Super colored up. Pretty cool looking fish in this lake. Just dragging on some deep rock. It's just a lot and lot of repetitive casting. It's kind of the name of the game. Oh, there we go. Another nice chunker there. It's almost orange. Pretty cool looking fish. I'll let him go.